Hey everybody, this is Mark with iOpple Tech 128, and today we're going to be taking a real quick first look at the brand new Office 2016 apps for Mac. So we haven't seen an update since Office 2011, and then they've come up with Office 2013 for Windows. It's been really great, they've had lots of great improvements, but now we're finally seeing the brand new updated version for Mac. This was just announced yesterday, or when this was recorded. Um, and this update of Office 2016 includes Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and Outlook. And with this, they also eliminate all the clutter of remote desktop and all those funky files. It's just these applications and nothing else. So first, let's just take a real quick look at Word. This is probably what you guys are mostly going to be getting it for. And this is what I'm most excited about. Um, it, all the functionality really on all these is pretty much the same. Um, but this is what it looks like. Um, all of them have this kind of same tile where you pick your template. We'll just do a blank one. But this is the um, file right here. You say this is a test document. It's like that. Um, one thing, I always have my zoom set to 125%. There's usually an option up top here. Now they've eliminated that. You have a slider and you can click this and it brings up this window. This is something I found interesting. At the bottom, you see it says page one of one, how many words you have, and if you are currently typing or not. See, I'm not typing right now, and I'm typing, and when I stop, it goes back to the check. Um, so that's that. At the top, again, everything looks pretty similar to what we have. Layout's similar, just the icons are neat. We have paste, and then, and then we have all of our other tools right here. We have insert, design, layout, references, mailings, review, and view. Um, same basic stuff, nothing's really changed. We also have a quick thing for um, feedback because this is currently the beta, not the public version, so you can leave them feedback. We can also search our document and go ahead and share this with people. This will be public if you opt for Office 365, which I am a subscriber to. Um, we can invite people, copy the link, or email this document as it is. But that's pretty much it for Word. Let's go ahead and take a look at Excel. So again, when you open it, it'll give you this basic thing, really, same thing as um, Word. And then we have our different cells and everything. We'll, we can just enter in some numbers. And then again, everything on all these really look exactly the same, pretty much. You just get a new look, few minor improvements, but not a lot. I mean, we can insert. Uh, we can do a scatter plot. You can just really do everything on this that you can on the other one. Again, really similar, just a new design. Next is PowerPoint. Same basic thing, we can pick different templates. We can create a blank one. And then we can just add our titles and subtitles and everything. Um, and you have your toolbar up here. Exact same things really, it's just a brand new design once again and um, I'm sure there's tons of reviews on how to use all this stuff I'm just showing you what's the brand new features with all these things and what's really new on it um, one note this is actually a brand new application new to the Mac it didn't come previously with um, office 2011 this is actually very very complex we have these different tabs at the top, which will allow you to create new notebooks, essentially, much like Dropbox, I mean, not Dropbox, Evernote. Um, and then we can just go ahead and click anywhere on the screen. You see, um, you see here is a note, like that. Um, I had a test one earlier. This actually just isn't like a Word document, like going straight down the line. This is actually kind of like like thoughts really. Um, we can add more pages to this as well. And we have all the formatting things that you would expect as well as adding a to do important question um, and other highlights that will make you remember it more. And the final thing I have to show you is Outlook 2016. Um, this is probably one of the like, only applications of Office 2016 that takes advantage of some of the new things with Yosemite with the transparent on the side. Um, I've never used Outlook before, the desktop version. I've never been a fan of it, and I'm sure most of you don't use it either. Same basic things. We have 
Um, new tabs at the bottom from before, usually on the side. We have mail, calendar, people, task, and notes. And then we have our inbox draft, set items, delete items. And we can also have organize and tools. And again, the same basic functions, check for new mail, um, delete certain mail, flag them, move them, filters, all that stuff that you're used to. But yeah, there you have it. That's our first look and preview of Office 2016 for Mac. It's available to all Mac users running Yosemite for free, no matter if you've downloaded Office 2011 or are a Office 365 subscriber. You can download it right now for free with that link down in the description below. If you are excited for Office and you love this first look, please feel free to leave this video a like. If you want to see any more videos, let me know down in the comment section below and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss those videos that we make. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. This is Mark and have a great day.